Hi, it's Dr. John Denusef and Networking for Your Optimal Health. Today's topic is going to be about liquid nitrogen and freezing warts and sometimes actin and keratoses. The above demonstration explains to you how much pressure is used in liquid nitrogen and we will be talking about how to apply liquid nitrogen to certain areas to help remove certain lesions like warts and actin and keratoses. Hi, this is Dr. Jonathan Youssef, Network of Your Optimal Health. Today, I'm going to be taking care of some actinic keratoses. If you're watching this video, you've either been told you have actinic keratoses or possibly a wart, and we're using liquid nitrogen to help freeze it off. This patient was kind enough to let us video this. He's got two small areas, very, very small, and they're flaking. You can almost see a little bit of a flake. And the reason why he's come in is because he's noticed that the flaking and the irritation keeps coming back and it's been going on for a long, almost a year. So we're gonna freeze them and what he should expect to happen is a little bit of a blister and that blister is gonna pop or, or drain or it may just turn a little dark black and it's gonna be a little bit red. It'll fall off and hopefully not come back in that particular area. Actinic keratoses can sometimes come back. They are due to sun damage and hopefully um, in this particular case, uh, good sunscreen, good skin protection will really help avoid those in the future. So what I'm gonna do is a couple of freeze thaw cycles. So I try to protect his eyes or protect his um, uh, face by just localizing it right to the particular area. You can see sometimes it'll cause a, uh, a sort of a whitish, um, fleshy, Um, discharge from the um, liquid nitrogen which will hopefully become a little bit red and then uh, blister off and he's got a second spot right here which keeps coming back and you can still see a little bit of flaking right there so I'm gonna go ahead and use a little bit more liquid nitrogen sometimes I go back to that original spot now that it's healed a little bit and um, hit it once again with the liquid nitrogen. So two or three, three thaw cycles, depending on how much you want to destroy the actinic keratoses. Once again, you can use this for both actinic keratoses or you can use it for warts. And um, there are also multiple other ways or other uh, lesions that can be destroyed by liquid nitrogen and it looks like he's all done all right aftercare so aftercare some of the things that you might expect is either a, a small blister or a dark spot which will then uh, either open up or flake off or dry up and scab off and um, don't worry, it's gonna be a little bit red. You can use a little Neosporin, Polysporin, Bacitracin just to cover it up if it becomes um, irritated. But normally you don't even have to put anything on it. You don't even have to put a Band-Aid.